Hi, today we'll guide you through the key initial decisions on patenting your invention and trademarking your brand, all with a focus on saving money and based on my discussions with thousands of inventors. One of the first questions inventors often ask is, should I get a patent? A patent can be a powerful tool to protect your invention and stop competitors, but it's not always the right choice. For example, keeping your invention as a trade secret might be a better option, especially if it can't be easily reverse engineered. To help you decide, check out my article, Should I Patent My Idea? Here's what you need to know. I put a link to all of my articles in the description of this video. Once you decide to patent your invention, the next big concern is how to make that patent strong enough to prevent your competition from bypassing it. A weak patent isn't worth the paper it's printed on. To broadly protect your invention, the basic strategy is to build a patent portfolio. Your goal isn't to get just one patent. The reason is that a portfolio of patents makes it significantly harder and more costly for competitors to work around your protection. The trick here is how to develop your portfolio cost efficiently. Put simply, you need to do it over a long period of time so that the profits from your product launch pays for the portfolio. Find out more by reading my article, How to Create a Strong Patent, a Comprehensive Guide. Many inventors get stuck on whether to file a provisional or non-provisional patent application. Provisional applications are marketed as a cheaper, quicker option. But if it's done right, they actually cost the same as a non-provisional application. The key here is if they are done right. The basic benefit of filing a provisional is that it delays downstream costs by about a year. My article, Should You File a Provisional or Non-Provisional Patent Application, breaks down the pros and cons to help you make an informed decision. Expediting your patent application might sound appealing, especially if you're eager to get to market or secure investments. But expediting also means paying more upfront costs for examination and grant fees, which could be better spent on marketing and manufacturing, especially if you're in the early stages of your product launch. For most inventors, it's about balancing the need for speed to get a patent with the need to control costs. For a detailed look at whether expediting is right for you, check out my article, Should You Expedite Your Non-Provisional Patent Application? Thinking about going global? Foreign patent protection can be costly, and I usually don't recommend it unless there's a clear business reason. However, if you do decide to pull the trigger, there are ways to reduce the cost, such as by using the Patent Prosecution Highway Program and expediting your U.S. application. For a comprehensive guide on how to protect your invention abroad without overspending, see my article, Strategies for Cost-Effective Foreign Patent Protection. Timing is everything. File your application too early and you risk spending more money on adjustments to your application. File it too late and you could lose your rights altogether. My article, When Should You File a Patent Application, helps you figure out the sweet spot for filing your application to secure protection at the right time and minimize costs. Patents protect your invention, but trademarks protect your brand. Should you register your product's name as a trademark? The answer is usually yes. Failing to do so can lead to costly rebranding if unknowingly you infringe on someone else's rights. My article, Four Key Reasons to Register Your Trademark, explains why securing your brand's identity early on is a smart move. Filing a trademark application isn't as complex as patents, and many startups can do it themselves. There's a wealth of resources available to guide you through the process. Read my article on how to prepare and file a trademark application for practical tips on DIY trademark filing. However, if you'd rather leave it to a professional, you can always just give me a call. Just like with patents, timing is critical when filing your trademark application. You don't want to waste time or money by filing too early before you've checked out availability of domain names and social media handles, or too late after you've done your product launch. My article, When to File a Trademark Application, provides guidance on when to file to ensure your brand is protected at the right time.
Navigating the initial decisions of patenting and trademarking can be daunting, but making informed choices can save you time and money. I've put links to all of the articles that I mentioned in the description below. If you have questions or need guidance, I'm here to help. With decades of experience advising inventors, I can provide the insights you need. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tips on navigating the patent landscape. Thanks for watching and see you next time.